welcome welcome back to squirrel trails let's play so today we're going to be going over how to build a farm to gather nether blocks and other or not well tree, farming trees and another um and getting the other uh grass that uh grows in there so this is um a piston farm so let's go over how this works so when this this grows here take your bone meal it's going to shift basically just shift back and forth once something grows here there we go look at all that and so what's happening is the signal is going out here and it's pushing it this way and then with a the delay here it's pushing it back which is making um all these blocks break and it can grow on grass that's next to it. So that's how to, how that's how this works. Also, how to do trees basically on this block here. Boom. And we also get the vines. We get a tree. Much different than my tree that I made myself. So yeah, so I may take this down um, and build one of the or just kind of grow these trees. And if you oh, I have a pickaxe, yeah. But the downside is, how we're we gonna get those up there? So we're gonna have to build some scaffolding up there. Uh, but we don't have any scaffolding, so right now. Um, we're probably going to do is put a ladder up on this side to go up this way um, and build a little roof or a little no, like a square, an empty square right in here. And the same thing over here. So on this side, I've got a hopper setting. So this way, instead of having to walk around on the blocks to pick up itself, um, you just let the minecart do all the work and it sends it right to this chest which you can still open so let's go ahead and get this set up here with the um pistons and everything do I, uh, it's getting dark too so i need you got the pistons one two three one two three i got the redstone i've got the repeaters i've got the all those i do need um a observer and I'll be all set observer here we go so how to build one of these so the minecart is going to come up right here so it's going to need this block this can't be blocking it, otherwise it's going to get stuck. So the pistons are going to have to be here. So let's go ahead and take those out. And then add the pistons. Oh, and the redstone. So as you can see, we need from the square, the 3x3 three three square, we need 1, 2, 3 on each side. 1, 2, 3, and a, actually it's a 1, one, two, three, four by four by three. So let's just um, it's gonna be further out than I thought. That's okay. And I, I want to keep this here. That way, I can build a fence that goes up and around this. That way, I'm not pushing this back and just blocking the stairs. So. Let's see here, so I'm going to need these, and I need to have it, the nylium here, that way I'm not raising it up, so one, two, three, so the pistons, oh. Well, let me figure out where to build this really quick. 
Okay, so I think this is how it's gonna work out. Um, whoops. Let me try that again. So one, two, three, come back around, and we're gonna do two powered rails off the wall. And this one we can do the um, redstone torch right there. No, we can't. Can't do the torch there. So let's try doing the torch underneath. Do it here. Doesn't power that. Okay. And if we do it, if we put a torch here. And there we go. Okay. And I wonder if put the torch on this wall here. It won't work, even if it's on the wall. Okay. Perfect. So we will put the torch here. Oops. Put this block here, put the torch there, and put a block there. That way it bounces off. It should. Oops, we gotta connect this really quick. So let's go ahead and do a power rail all the way. Oh, yeah, we can't uh, turn that quickly. But now we can turn here. Oh, that's right. Power rails can't turn. So we will add the rails here, 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 and there. And then add a torch there. It's not with the power the block above it. And put a torch there without powering any pistons. So let's go ahead and try this out to see if it grabs just to make sure see if it grabs anything it grabs uh, some items so do I have a don't have a hopper mine cart as you can see I made a bunch <laughs> So this guy will get going here. And I can get up and down. Oops. Okay. So we put a bunch of chicken up here. It is grabbing the chicken. Unloads it. Once it unloads all the chicken, it goes off again. Grab the chicken back. I'm good to go. So now, time to get this functioning. So let's go ahead and grab this row. So as you can see, real quick here, it's bouncing off that. It's doing it pretty quickly, so it should work. Um, and we need one of these blocks. Let's go here. That way we can bone meal. The rest of this. Okay, so time for those blocks. There we go. Observer and put it it uh, here. The wrong direction. 
And of course, you get no time. So I'll be back. Okay, so time to build the um, the redstone side of this project. Redstone. Okay. And oh, coal. Nice. Got my fortune. Oh, and this stuff. I'll show you how I got that after this episode. I'll show you after, at the end of this episode how I managed to get my gear kind of back to where it was um along with this stuff so got my fortune pickaxe okay so got that then we're gonna bring a line this way and the same thing over here Okay, so boom, boom, whoops. This is why we the, the block is there. Just wanted to show you how this works. Because the minecart is stuck, it's not gonna go anywhere. Take this block out, and there we go. Unload that one block. And, and if this if I did my calculations correctly, and I didn't. Oh I did. No, I didn't. Nope. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't need three, I should need two. So let's lay down some redstone and figure that out. So we need to put a repeater here. Redstone dust on the side line like this. And the reason why we're putting a repeater here is because if I took this out, Put a repeater here. We're not actually powering these, powering the block, and it's not gonna, um, not gonna work. So if I put this, this here, it doesn't actually power them on. But if I put the repeater here and power this, it pushes it. So there we go. And because they're not sticky pistons, it's not pushing back. That's where a line on this side goes. So it goes up into there, comes across, down here. Again, repeater here. And this one is going to be delayed. Just by one tick. So now, this should push the box black. So the box blocks back. So let's check it out. There we go. And our minecart should be picking everything up. Let's check out. Let's see how it works. So it is picking everything up, for the most part. I mean, it is leaving some items, but that's fine. Um, not a huge deal. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing on that end off camera, and I'll see you in a second.
Okay, so welcome back. Um, so I did a little something different. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, so this one comes out this way. Takes up a lot of space up here. Um, I made this one go back into here. So I've got some stripped uh, bark. So I stripped, I stripped off the bark. We're going to go down here. Around this corner. And start to go up from here so we're gonna fill it we're gonna fill this in as we go along and I'm actually gonna go to sleep so I'll be back okay so um, we're gonna go ahead and do a powered rail here here as it goes up and this jaunt will be um, powered by oh that block is there oh we'll do this i think we can if we take out this block here <laughs> hold on there we go if we take out this one it's gonna power the redstone up here but if we take out this block here Well, that that won't power it because it's not on the, it's not on the block per se so let's get that one back take out these two blocks and do a powered rail here now oh man there we go Let's turn it on like that. There we go. So now it's turned. Now it's powered on. And we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. Go ahead and put a torch on that. That may let me uh, grab these really quick, just in case I mine them down the road. Um, if I see these blocks, I will I will stop mining. Oh. Okay, so put the torch there, which powers a block above it, and cover this back up. There we go. So add some powered rails here. Finish this off here. Nice little reach. Nice. And we're going to do the last two here. They're going to be powered rails as well. And like before, power the block underneath of it. The torch. And it should hit that. So the question, the real question is, Will oh, gotta finish this off here. Will a hopper minecart function properly? Grab that. Oh, and I also added a switch. So first, let's see if this comes back. I have enough power to go all over it does and it comes up so now if we add this little switch here turns off this mm -hmm. yeah I don't think we need the powered rail all the way up Wait until this goes back down. Nope. Oh, fine ones. Drops it. Okay. So now 
you turn the switch off and to turn off this torch minecart stays there turn this back on it sends the torch on its way so there we go that's all this I still haven't done anything up here um, yet. I'm going to save that for a d different video. Um, actually, I'll probably just build it off. Oops. I'll probably build those off camera. Um, just add some design. Um, so the last thing I wanted to show you is how I was able to get all my gear back. Uh, it did take me about a, a day um, of playing... Um, but I will show you what I did. So I took a villager um, and brought him around. So I got him in the boat, went all the way around, and built this little tunnel here. And I made him land. Where did I make him land? Someplace over here. And what? where he landed... It might have been right there, but um, that's besides the fact. Where he landed was down here. So I have a villager that's linked with the brewing stand. Still haven't done anything with the brewing stand. I don't know much about it yet. Um, Still something I'm st still learning. Um, the brewing stand doesn't have a now um, kind of an option to pick out what kind of brew you want, what you need to make it. So um, this stuff is kind of what you got to find online. So, but he buys rotten flesh, and what comes out of here? Rotten flesh. So basically, as this, as these zombies drop, I sell my rotten flesh to this guy. And I'm getting levels. And then when I'm also, I'm buying these um, enchantment stuff. So I'm going to buy these. And what these do is so what these do is if I have, so this thing is mending on it. So let's. I'm, I'm holding this, and it has mending. So, if I'm holding this here in my hand, and splash, levels come up. I put this in my hand, splash, boom. Oh, wrong thing. But yeah, you get the point. So, that's how I've been getting all my levels and being able to uh, get, get all my items back that I lost when I was um, not paying attention and died. So I hope you enjoyed my video um, on farming nether items uh, and building a rail system to collect it under the farm. Um, two different ways of building a rail system. One kind of going down right away, and this other one that, that looks a little more clunky. Um, so I'll probably rebuild uh, this one to make it match that one. So as the moon comes down, the video will come to an end, and we'll see you next time. Happy trails.